4th of July. I've had a really nice morning. It's been really relaxing. I cleaned some stuff up. I I don't know if you know this about me. If you've watched any of my vlogs, you know that like I need a clean space in order for me to feel like I can go do the fun stuff. So I got some of that done and made myself some tea. I don't think I'm gonna eat any breakfast because we're gonna have a fun little lunch for today. We're not doing anything. We're just hanging out. We might sit by our pool that's in our backyard. Um, but just keeping it low key. I just finished a YouTube video. Our favorites video should already be up by now. I talked to my dad a little bit. Um, I talked a little bit on my Instagram stories about how I feel about this. 4th of July. I feel like a lot of people have mixed emotions about it. I'm not going to go too deep in, into it here, but I just want to say that I am very proud of the people who are making such a great change in the world with all the bad that's going on. There is also so much good and we are doing so much good as well. So it's important to also recognize that as well as not ignore all the bad. I also came to the realization that five years ago on this day, it was my last 4th of July that I was going to be spending with my family in Maryland and then the next day I moved to California. So it has been almost five years tomorrow that I've lived in California in LA and it just is crazy. Time flies by so quickly. I remember just going into it and thinking like, oh, I'm just going to spend one year here and we'll see how it goes. Did you hear me about I lived here for five years yeah. since? last since tomorrow crazy that was like a really scary time for me because i just had no idea what my life was going to look like where i had no place to live i was really excited because i've always wanted to live in california specifically la and i knew i was gonna have a pretty cool job i just you know there was a bunch of unknowns and leaving my family who i am so close with and I think I've done a really good job with being long distance and continuing to maintain the closeness because I know that for some families it can cause a strain if you're not with them all the time but FaceTime has been such a blessing in my life and we FaceTime all the time. I typically have like a Sunday family FaceTime that is scheduled for sure in our calendar. My dad, you know, he calls me three or four times a day. I talk to my mom all the time. I try to make sure I call my grandmas. I didn't think I was going to be sitting here talking about my life story but why not? Let's just dive into it. I have nothing else to do besides make a berries and cream cake. I think it's been such a wonderful blessing in my life to take this journey that I really did not see coming on my life's path but an opportunity came my way i reached out for those of you who don't know i was just emailing a bunch of different people to get some internship opportunities i emailed my current boss to see if i could help with the social media and i worked with him for about six months and then from that six months he was like would you ever be interested in moving to california I keep saying California to LA and work for me full time as my executive assistant and at that time I like really wasn't sure Ryan wasn't going to be able to move here and my family was just like uh I mean we support you but like really that's what you're going to do like you know they were anxious too because they didn't know a life without me in their day to day but it, it was a really really nervous scary time and i didn't even think i was going to be able to do it like when i first got here the first two three months i like i enjoyed it and i was so happy to be here but you still feel like you're kind of on vacation and it's just this really weird limbo that i was in and when i got to go home for the first time it was so bizarre like it felt like a different life it was it was crazy to me how you, I felt like I was living a double life. That's literally how I felt. I felt like I was living in two different worlds, but it was also kind of cool. It was kind of cool to have that double life. Now, obviously, I feel like LA is much more of a home to me, and I, I love living here so much, and I think that's like the hardest part for me because my heart is so torn in two different places because I want to be with my family members who I love and mean so much to me, but at the same time, like living in LA fulfills a part of my heart um, that I couldn't fulfill if I was living in Maryland. So <sighs> something I struggle with, maybe I'll do a video a little bit more about how I feel and also like what I've learned about myself while living in LA. I feel like I have learned a lot of life lessons in the past five years that I've lived here. I really can say this full heartedly that I'm so proud 
of myself for pushing myself to get out of my comfort zone and taking an opportunity that has led me to so many wonderful things in my life. I've met so many cool people. I've gone on so many fun little road trips. I have explored on my own. I've learned a lot about myself living on my own and I'm so glad that I did live on my own. And then with Ryan here, we've got to do a lot of fun things. I would have never experienced these things if I didn't push myself to at least try it. Tell, I told myself, just give it a year. It's just like an one year extension of college and see how it goes. And then a year flew by and I was like, uh, I don't want to leave yet. Like, I love this place. I love my job. I just, I feel like I'm thriving here. And then another year goes by and another year goes by. And I have always been pretty in tune with my heart and my my life's choices, I guess the word would be, because everything I've done, like I've always been pretty sure that's exactly what I wanna do. And if I don't wanna do something, I make sure that I get out of it quickly, AKA a lot of internships in college. I had gone to and I was like fully ready to dive in. And then I just, I listened to my gut instinct and I just know that it's not right. And somehow, some way, something has always worked out accordingly this has become so long um but anyways i guess this is going to be a whole video about how i have lived in la for five years ah, i cannot believe that it's crazy but yeah i just wanted to fill you guys in on that because it just it made me like reflect today that tomorrow would be my five year anniversary moving here it's crazy to think about that my mom and i we flew here we got off that plane we just went apartment searching and i luckily found the apartment that i'm living in right now i have not moved since then um the wednesday after i had landed i don't remember what day i got here but it was a lot it was just like very very crazy time we went to target like 170 times returning things picking things things up just to get my place kind of put together but it is a memory I will forever cherish with my mom and I'm so grateful that she came out here and got my place together for me all right so I'm going to now make a cake after you guys now know how I got to where I'm today and uh let's do that together This recipe I already did last year. I made a video of it on my YouTube channel if you want to get the exact measurements and kind of see exactly how I did it. But for now, I'm just going to kind of do a little montage and get this started. Lock that. Start this. Whip, baby, whip. Whip the baby whip. I was vlogging the whole entire time with the wrong camera. So uh, I don't think I got any footage today. I don't think I got anything. So there's that. I guess we'll be vlogging tomorrow. But basically Ryan and I just made some dinner. Did I really not get any vlog footage? So annoying. Anyways, um, yeah, so Ryan and I just ate dinner. We watched the new show Floor is Lava on Netflix. We've been really loving that. It's like a little game show. And honestly, we used to play it as kids, so it's kind of funny they made it into a TV show. The fireworks are still going on. It is currently, what time is it? 10.35, so they'll probably have been for quite some time. Luckily, my dog isn't too afraid of them. I feel so bad for dogs that hide in the bathtub. This is like a very scary time for animals, so I just always think about them when this stuff happens. They didn't do much today. Ryan and I just hung around. I barely even hung by the pool, to be honest. I was like cooking and cleaning all day which is silly because like I, I don't really know where the time went with all my cooking because I didn't feel like I made that much but I'm a busy body I'm always like going left and right I'm gonna go upload this footage and see like what I have and see if I can salvage somewhat of a vlog such a bummer I did take a photo of the food though that we 
we ate. So uh, I guess I'll just throw that right up here. That's what it looked like. Not a big deal in the grand scheme of life. So yeah, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So I've been launching by the pool all Sunday and five years ago today I was on a plane to LA not knowing where I was going to live and I can't believe for five years I've got to live in such a great place. I knew the moment I saw this place, it was the first place I ever saw too, that I had to live here and I was so excited. Like. I just, I was excited to have like my own space decorated the way I wanted. Mom and I, we only had a couch. We had my TV stand, we got my TV and my bed and that was it. There was nothing else. It was very bare bones. Everything else that you see now in my vlogs, I've obviously accumulated over time, but it's so fun that I get to express my own style within my home decor. As you guys know, like I'm obsessed with home decor um, and it's just been like a really fun journey, but Getting on that plane was like the scariest thing in my life and leaving Ryan was the most like heart-wrenching thing I ever had to do. It, I felt like a ton of bricks had just laid on my stomach and that night when I went to bed, like I felt like I could sleep forever because I was so emotionally exhausted and drained from just leaving. Like you never know how you're gonna feel until it happens and I didn't, I've never experienced that feeling before. It was like pure, drained exhaustion <laughs> so glad that i got on that plane and so grateful for my boss because he pretty much changed my the whole course of my life and i will forever be grateful for that and i continue to love what i do i continue to love where i live and treasure all these moments here it's just crazy to me how short of a time it seems but also at the same time a lot has happened within those five years anyway so today i'm just going to sit by the pool and i need to try to get this caspery skin to like a slight beigey tan also wanted to say the most freeing thing in life is the sun is directly in my face i can't see anything so i'm going to talk while my eyes are closed um something that i've been working on lately is stop being so afraid of wearing clothes that you want to wear and for example, this is the first summer in a while that I have felt like, mm, I don't feel confident enough to be in a bathing suit right now, but I'm in my own backyard. Like, why do I feel that way, you know? So I shifted my mindset and I was like, you know what, who cares? If you have cellulite, if you have rolls, if you're not where you want to be right now, you can't change that currently. So you just have to love and rock what you got at the moment. And it really, shifting that mindset made me feel so much better. Like. It felt so good. I mean, if I was around people, I don't know if I would still feel insecure. Right now, it's just me in my backyard and Ryan's just out here. Yeah, I just wanted to say for people who feel like insecure about wearing shorts or bathing suits, like I'm right there with you. I've struggled with that for a while, but shifting your mindset or at least trying to shift your mindset is so important because you'll just miss out on so many fun things if you're just like too afraid to do them and this goes back to like moving to LA like you just have to do it you can keep pushing things off pushing things off and it's so easy to get in that mindset but think of like all the fun things you would probably miss out on if you kept making excuses so I'm gonna end this vlog here hope you get some sun rays in your life and thank you so much for watching my videos i really appreciate all the love and support and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe that'd be great and i will see you then bye